My biggest fear was, shall we be able with this team to tackle the online travel market and do something meaningful? The single most common cause of failure for startups isn't funding or isn't getting traction, it's team dynamics. The team either makes it or breaks it. You have to be, one of the hardest things, one of the hardest challenges that we faced was putting a team together. It's like a marriage after all, you need to choose wisely. It's really about having people that are diverse, with diverse backgrounds, uh, that can come together and, and build something really good in technology. Very often I see friends building up a company and friends that are actually have the same preferences. But I think that's not really what you need. You need people that are diverse, someone who is a bit different from yourself. It's really important to look for people that are highly motivated. The most important thing is that you trust each other. The second thing is that you really shouldn't uh, just have people from the same background. And of course, third thing is that you should have a kick the shit out session every now and then. Uh, when you know there is like a team from different backgrounds, a mixed team of genders like boys and girls and from different nationalities, uh, the outcome is great. Looking back, I wouldn't start again if I didn't have a co-founder. Because when you start, you don't realize it, but you, you know nothing. I think everything would have probably been faster and maybe a bit easier with a co-founder. But then again, possibly also more frictions or more not agreeing on everything. For me, working with somebody else makes things so much easier. You get things done quicker. And then from there, you build a bigger and bigger, bigger team. I would never have started a business alone on my own um, because I feel the support in a group is much bigger. There's like no way you can do everything yourself. You need to learn how to delegate and the easiest way to learn to delegate is that when there's other people sharing the responsibilities. I think three is the like dream team size when you start up. The best companies are have three people in them. I always say one is the, the, the face guy, the guy who gets up and tells the story. Then you have to have someone look, to look after the numbers and then you have to have someone who deals with when things go wrong. Having someone that you can talk to uh, and kind of pull you back up and help you continue is really, really important. And no one can replace a founder in that sense.